Who protesters in Myanmar are taking on the military using garbage. Well, this new strategy involves blocking streets with piles of rubbish. The garbage strike is the latest move by demonstrators to protest the killing of civilians. At the same time, workers at military-owned factories have also joined a civil disobedience movement. And armed ethnic militia are also warning the military to stop killing protesters. <laughs> The civilian death toll in Myanmar has crossed 510, and with security forces now reportedly firing heavier caliber weapons, that number is expected to become much higher. But that hasn't kept protesters off the streets, and they're hoping to gain the support of armed ethnic militia to oust the military and return civilian rule to the country. Several armed groups, including the Arakan Army, have already threatened retaliation. <laughs> ปกป้องประชาชนของเขามีอุดมการณ์ปกป้องประเทศของเขาเขาน่าจะรู้เฉยๆไม่ได้แล้วยังไงยังไงก็กลุ่มชาติพันธุ์เราทุกกลุ่
security at the borders uh, between India and Myanmar has also been uh, gradually stepped up. But uh, India's position on this issue has come into a lot of criticism. On Saturday, India was one of eight nations to attend the annual military parade in Myanmar, uh, including uh, with representation from China and Russia. Now, uh, many uh, opposition parties in India have criticized that, saying that this could be seen as a tacit endorsement of violence that's unfolding in Myanmar, and India should uh, take a stand as far as this is concerned. But uh, India has been silent on this front. It's not criticized Myanmar's military yet, but has said that the restoration of democratic order is important for all stakeholders in the country.